All right, Ward Village will have something for everyone this Halloween. Everything from costumes to treats to pet psychics. That's right. Here to tell us a little bit more about that is Dr. Jamie Jensen, a holistic doctor and the owner of Shanti Kai and Atado Po with Howard Hughes Corporation. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. I want to get to you in a bit, but okay. because I'm very interested in hearing yes. what this is all about. But talk a little bit about what's happening at Ward Village on Halloween. Yeah, we'll hit it real quick so we can get to the pets because I'm as intrigued right. as well. But um, Halloween night between uh, 5 and 8 can have a lot of activities for the kids, for the families, some for the adults from, uh, at our restaurants and some of the merchants. But from 6 to 8, the kids can trick-or-treat through the stores and just have a great time in an indoor, safe environment. But as we're talking about, the pets are also going to have their place at Ward Village. Right. And that's part of the overall community, pet-friendly location year-round, but some fun for the pets on Halloween. And hats off to, to, to Ward Village and Howard Hughes for recognizing that our pets are very much a part of our family. Yes. And a lot of families don't know where to turn right. to have a pet-friendly event. You can go down there. Yeah. All right, let's pull her in. Uh, doctor, your thoughts on what this is all about? And, and a lot of folks are saying, wait a minute, what do I do? My, my, my pet can actually send messages to us what's happening so when i work with pets i work empathically in their energy field so pets are very pure unconditional love energy so it's a little easier than humans that are more complex to pick up distortions in their energy field especially cats they're constantly emitting positive ions so when something's wrong they tend to get a little you know, sure, they start em emitting negative ions. And it's very easy to sense that, that shift in frequency in their aura. So, so. who do we have here, and, and <laughs> what, what is she or he saying? So this is Kundi. Kundi. He's, he's a little bummed to be here, but actually oh, he's chill, and so I think he's very curious. Um, so normally when I read the aura, I might use a little bit of a pet spray. This is uh -huh. the Perfect Sense um, Shanti Kai spray. It's a flower and gemstone essence. And that just helps kind of light up the aura so I can get a better read. So right now, Kundi is um, got kind of this prickly sensation coming off you of him. You can feel it? Oh, yeah. He's a little bit nervous uh -huh. and, and maybe even a little ticked off that he's here. I mean, he <laughs> wants to be here. He loves you. He doesn't <laughs> look very enthused about it. <laughs> he's a little, you know, vibrating a little bit at a upset frequency. Um, and then over here, kind of over his kidney area, there's a little bit of a uh, darker color, like black color that I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. um, kidneys are water, water is emotion, uh, stress, anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so normally I would probably, uh, you know, I would work with the essence, but I would also read the aura, find out, you know, where, okay, there's dark spots in here. That indicates weakness or imbalance. So then you can send in the corrective frequencies needed to heal. So it's all about really um, balancing the pet and healing. That's the purpose in getting a good read. Now, I, I question, are you absorbing that energy? And, and can you kind of, I, I've heard of this before, that you can actually take it in do you get rid of it yeah a lot of people ask me is this yeah. like the green mile sort of thing right, especially right, right, after right. treatments and i kind of think about it and i'm like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you kind of do it's the purpose isn't to keep it but it it does certainly it moves through you interesting and then you know so if there's if you're able to throw it you, you have to be able to throw it right so you have to keep doing your own healing work so that you don't if you have something and very similar in. to the pet or to the person you can keep it in yeah so a lot of empaths mm. will say oh my wrist starts hurting after around somebody who has a, a wrist pain or something like this um so if you have that weakness i might do that okay one more question I gotta, I gotta wrap it up, but I'm fascinated. How does one become a pet psychic? How does one become? Um, well, I have worked with animals my whole life, and I've been in the holistic field for over 20 years. And um, I, I don't know how one, you, it's kind of just something that people started bringing their pets and saying, you helped me, can you nice. look at my pet? And so pretty soon I had a pretty loyal pet clientele. Interesting. Yeah. What do you think, Todd? Uh, this is, again, part of the fun. Uh, some of these different yeah. things that a lot of us, uh, even as pet owners, haven't experienced. And your chance to come down Halloween at Ward Village and check it out. Maybe we need to have some of that spray on, on us. Right? Yeah. That, would be, that would be dangerous for both of us can right I now. Use, right? Yeah. Can I use the dog spray? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm going to leave my hat for you, though, Please. since you like it so well, much. Yeah, I, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit you. But, uh, Todd, <laughs> thank you very much. Again, thank you for, for, for Ward Village and Howard Hughes doing this. Again, it's all happening at Ward Center. Halloween at Ward Tuesday. Not just for the Kiki and the family, but also your pets and go. And I'll be there. And you'll be there. I'll be there doing readings. Booha.